What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I hope you guys had a great holiday. I hope you guys had a pretty sweet Thanksgiving. If you guys celebrate Thanksgiving, if you don't, I hope you had a pretty sweet Thursday. Uh, we are going to play this deck that was commissioned by Faded MTG. This is Pioneer. Uh, we are playing this immediately after the Smuggler's Copter and Once Upon a Time and Field of the Dead bands. So those are not going to be uh, faced by us today. So we got three Fatal Push, three Thoughtseize. Four Vryn's Prodigy and two Search for Ascanta. Uh, no doubt in an attempt to make these Drown in the Lock a little bit better. Same with Thief of Sanity. Four Oko and four Thief. Uh, those, are, those are great cards. Three Thought Erasure, two Assassin's Trophy, and four Growth Spiral. Uh, then we also have two Nissa, two Scarab God, and one Dig Through Time. Interesting configuration here, but uh, I like the colors. I like the cards. I would like to see some number of Vraska and maybe Questing Beast to round out this four spot. So I'm going to keep those guys in mind to see if they can have a home here. Uh, one Disdainful Stroke, two Mystical Dispute, two Noxious Grasp. Two Blossoming Defense, two Murderous Rider, two Elder Spell, two Hostage Taker, and two Assassin's thank Trophy. You. Lots of twos. Spider View, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate you. All right, so let's go here and uh, make it happen. Let's. Oh, wow, look at that. That's weird. That was a weird way to do it. Why would you put it there? All right, I'm actually going to close this. So now when we open it again, it will be the same size. Amazing. It's a man. Oh yeah, I am definitely looking forward to Black Widow. I saw the Black Widow trailer and then I posted it on the Facebook. And I was just like, yeah, this looks pretty good. I am A-OK -okay with it. I am A-OK -okay with it. And as usual, I have an article going up tomorrow. On Wednesday, my dudes. about uh, the bands in Commander, or Pioneer. Why did I say Commander? That was weird. We're playing against Mutual M, 12-16. I will keep this hand. Unfortunately, we have to take two at this juncture. But that's okay. Happy birthday, Mutual M. Yeah, happy birthday. Hmm. Let's go with Watery Grave. I think the blue is more relevant with Thief of Sanity. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna play that. That's gotta be better than taking two for Gross Spiral and, uh, just playing Overgrown Tomb. I saw people griping about having to watch uh, Wandaverse and Falcon because they will tie into... So, who, like, just don't watch them then. Thank you. Badger with the gifted subs, my dude. I got an emote. Emote thanks. What is that? Thank you. What does that do? I have no idea what that is. Either way, Badger, thank you so much, dude. You are ridiculous, and I appreciate you. Okay. We could just fatal push this guy. I think we're just playing Thief of Sanity. Thank you. Although they could just kill Jace. What if they kill Jace? 
Thank you. What if they kill Jace and then attack and then kill Thief of Sanity too? Wouldn't that be Thank bad? you. This card seems like a card you're like, get off the board, my dude. Thank you. Thank you. This is actually tricky. I'm tempted to just grow spiral during uh, their turn. Yeah, I think as long as we get to no attacks here, I think it's fine. Badger, thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate you. You are awesome. They might have the protection spell. Well, three cards in hand. Let's see if they have it. Yep, they always have it. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, uh, we can do holiday cube stipulations donations anytime, and I will I will write them down and we'll do them next week when the uh, when the cube pops up. Wow, this is a hell of a turn. I wonder if we could have just killed this guy? I mean, I feel like they would have just played another creature. I'm not sure if we're hoping for a land or a spell here. do that hmm <sighs> we could drown this guy flip Jace negate this guy I guess that's better than not doing that and if we hit a land, we can still play Oko. Hmm. That seems good. Yoko. Oh, that seems good too. That's a little scary. I guess don't have a second God's willing in your two car. <laughs> What? All right. Wait, what does that do? Put in your graveyard as a result of the return to. Oh, you get to scry one. Sure, that's fine. I was like, why would you do that? Okay, so now you're one three, but you can be a four four, which does kill Jace, but not Oko. Chicken Run official. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Luke, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. OK. 
Okay. So we know one of your cards is a Titan Strength. Sure. So now you have one card in hand and essentially neutered Feather. That's interesting. Alright. Negative you. We're just playing Thief here. Went to McDonald's for lunch today and ordered a Mick B combo, and they gave me a double quarter pounder with no cheese. Apparently, in California, McKees are half half or a half pound burger. I don't even know what a Mick B is. That's interesting. What? Both of me? Yeah, I'll just take four. Do we cast them or play them? Cast. I'll just take the creature. I mean, I guess we can only cast around the lock. Twister, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. We have one card in hand. Just play this guy. What's the worst card that people seem to think is good? Oh, that's that's a hard question. Yeah, that's fine. Well, that was an unexciting turn for them. Feather number two never fails. I feel like I can kill that too. Man, a second blue here would be great. God's Willing actually seems pretty good. Oh, and prevent all damage that we dealt to it? Titan Strength it is. Sure, my dude. Oh, we just win the game. Okie dokie. Smokey. Thoughties. Hostage taker seems great here. Noxious grasp seems great. Nissa seems a little bit slow. Take out Thoughtsies. Take out one search. I got thought erasures for like murderous rider, I think.
Yeah, that seems fine. Obviously, I need Elder Spell or Disdainful Stroke or Mystical Dispute. This seems okay. If we can hit another land. We have 24 lands in the deck. Man, here I thought Faded MTG was in the chat. Now his grandpa's telling me that he doesn't work. Wow, this is a this is a real situation right here. Thank you. Chad, what's going on, my dude? Long time no see, buddy. Thank you so much for the for the gifted subs, bud. Thank you. Okay, so Thank do I actually you. keep this untapped so that when they play a two drop I can just kill it immediately? I think the answer is yes. I want to be able to use mana. Chad, thank, thank you so much, you. buddy. Always a pleasure to see you, my dude. Always good times. Thank you. I bet I can lock I bet I can move myself over just a little bit, right? Is that better? Is that better? Is that better? What if I move the camera instead? That might be better. Let's do that. Do they? Oh, they're not not playing anything, huh? All right. Well then, I'm not gonna take two more to play an Assassin's Trophy, especially because. Uh, well, I guess I could play Feather, but. Yep, yeah, that's. And that's what we were expecting. Fabled Passage? Growth Spiral, huh? I'm not liking the Growth Spiral so far. I don't think we have enough lands to actually take advantage of Growth Spiral. I do kind of want to just negate this guy. If they, have if they have Titan Strength, they can just kill our, our Oko. I don't know if that's a huge deal, though. Plus, they don't get their Titan Strength back. They have six cards in hand. Good lord. Dude, Chad, I saw your post, actually. That's insane. You lost... A person's worth of weight. That was a lot of effort to kill an Oko. Let's let's put it that way. This one island is also throwing me as well because basically, um, like most of your spells, no, oh, maybe not. Maybe it's fine actually. So Chad, you might say you're half the man you used to be. Why would you say that? <laughs> hmm. So, all right, let's gross for all try to hit a land here. I doubt we will. Oh, we did. 
My goodness gracious, what a time to be alive. I guess we might as well do this during upkeep, right? Or during draw step, I guess. Yeah, let's uh, draw step gives them a chance to draw it, so we'll noxious grasp during upkeep. That seems fine. Oh. Well then. Phil, congrats on your first top eight, buddy. Okay, so we have to use a black, a green, and a black. All right, so they have one card, so next turn we can play Thief of Sanity and Fatal Push, or if we draw a land, we can play Scarab God. Yeah, I like Scarab God a lot better, all things considered. Hmm. Dude, 44, losing 44% is insane. Shut up and take my money. What's happening right now? I don't have a good buck joke buck. <laughs> I think I think you do. Do I want to go to eight and play Scarab God? They have one card in hand. Can they win if I do that? Probably not. It's your boy. And they have one card in hand, so if they have Titan Thank Strength, you. they can Titan Strength the favorite Hoplite and kill the Scarab God. Reckless Rage. Sure. They have no cards in hand? Well, okay. Chad, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Um, so here's the thing. They get to draw one card. Let's just play Scarab God again. I've got five minutes for my next call and ready for <laughs> Hey buddy, I'm glad I can I'm glad I can supply you with five minutes of uh of stress really Oh, they just lose because Scarab God is a is a bonkers magic card. Okay. So Gross Spirals can come out. Let's add Did I buy questing beasts? I wonder. Oh god, I'm so fucking smart. God. I also kind of like Veraska. Because she kill, not only kills things, but she's like great. She's just fantastic with Oko. I also might want to cut one search for Ezkanta. But I'm not sure for what. I actually think this might be fine for now. I, I don't know why we have three forests, though. Like, we have very few green cards in the first half. I guess it's for Nyssa. I'd almost rather have another another swamp, though, because we do want to make sure we have enough black sources. Hang on, wait, one, two, three, four. I'm not going to count Fable Passage because it gets anything. Four. Nine. We only have ten blue sources outside of Passage. Then we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen green sources. Okay, so these four cancel each other out. And then everything else is 
blue, black, and blue, green. So we should definitely not have five more green sources. Uh, and then black sources we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. That is not a lot at all. So now it's 10, 10, 14, I believe. Glowspore Shaman isn't better than anything. So this is 60. We have all, all eight forests. I think this could be fine. This is a very even mana base. Two hinterland, two woodland. The only thing we're missing is two drowned catac drowned. Uh... I would actually play two drowned catacombs. I would cut one fabled passage and one either hinterland harbor or woodland cemetery. Probably. Let's look at properties. 23, 21. So we'll definitely keep, uh, we'll cut the Woodland Cemetery. All right, let's try it like this. Seder Wayfinder? For what, though? Like, we're not really, like, using the graveyard for anything, really. Like, and the deck doesn't have a ton of creatures. I think you're mostly trying to uh, use your opponent's creatures. We only have 12 creatures. Four of them are Jace. Four are Thief of Sanity. Then we have 2-2 two, two, and... Two more on the sideboard. <laughs> so we only have 10 creatures. No, is that not right? That's not right. Nine ten. Oh yeah, that's it. Right, two two. That's all we need. That's all we need. Oh, this is a good one. This is a keeper. But it was not a keeper. I guess we'll keep this. We have three playable cards if we go get a Thank you. Thankfully we're on the draw. Penumbra, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Hmm. That's fascinating. Okay. Let's get a swamp. Use every part of the buffalo. I try. I try to use the graveyard and choke. Try to dredge the... Brought some magums and nagomibas. In the graveyard and... Ooh, I like these matching Kamigawa lands. Okay, you got this guy. What's happening now? Oh, they just... I love it. I love when they go Burning Tremissary into nothing. I'm just like... Perfect. Beautiful. Um, let's thought seize you and fatal push something. Experimental frenzy and ember cleave. So next turn they can play the frenzy. I'm gonna take the frenzy because that's more of a, a card that I'm not really comfortable with them having. And they also have nothing that really uh, benefits from this guy, so. So their hand is Mountain Mountain Ember Cleave. That seems good. LaFof, what's going on, my dude? If we hit a land, we can play Search and also Fatal Push, one of these gentlemen. Well, might have to drown one of them in the lock, because otherwise they attack with both. 
and then equip the ember cleave it's a red spell I guess what do we take two then yeah I don't care about that I'd much rather hit a land next turn to go assassin's trophy and fatal push here we go So we'll take five here, and that's fine. They can't slam this Embercleave fast enough. I try to say goodbye and I choke. Show me a land. Put it in my hand. Oh. I'm gonna keep it. I need to get a green somehow. For now, we can just kill the Foundry Steed Denizen. Yeah, I'm also not a huge fan of the Nissa as well. Oh, that's good because the creature that I'm gonna be killing is going to get plus one, plus zero. Oh. Goblin Pile Driver. Yep, that guy's fine as well. Try to walk away and I stumble. What is it? Mana cost, right? Okay. Okay, I believe you. I'll take one. I will get a forest. I'd keep my cool, but I'm fiending. I'm trying. Yeah, I said I'll take one. Gosh. Biogenic ooze is kind of hot. Uh, It might be heavy green, but... Um... No, I'll keep that. I'm not going to be pitching lands yet. Next time we can flip as Kanto, which is decent. This has cost three to equip. That's actually very good. I'm impressed. I think this game is good. Like the odds of us not having something. Like we could literally just kill all the creatures they attack with up until the point where they're dead. It is Dead's Day, my dude. Chad, is that visible in that picture that you posted? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, so I, we could Assassin's Trophy one of these guys. Next turn, play Vraska, kill the other one. So then they have no creatures on board, but then if they draw like a Haste guy, I guess they can't try Haste guy and equip. But then the problem is like we're, we're stuck searching for a way to deal with Embercleave on future turns. Alternatively, if we Assassin's Trophy this, we take two, and then we play Vraska, kill the other one, and then Vraska dies. So, I think we're just going to get rid of this dude. I keep my cool, but I'm waiting. Oh, 
Oh man, I gave you another pile driver. Well, that is unfortunate. Oh, oof. We can't really draw this because we don't have double green right now. So I will put you in the graveyard. I will transform you. I will draw. That actually was fantastic. Man, these fatal pushes have been MVPs. So we're both in top deck mode. We have a Raska and an Ascanto though. Let's hold up here. Just put it in the graveyard. Double strike and trample. The problem is if they play any creature here. Oh god, don't be a hasty gob. <laughs> Alright. Well, they get to kill Vraska. That's fantastic. Top decks aplenty. Let's get rid of a one push, one passage, thought seize, other passage. Two of these guys, Vraska, Questing Beast. Okay, we can't play Oko. Yep, I think we're dead. Well, we take six, I guess. No, I guess we could take... We could just take Island, Oko. That doesn't do anything to this, though, right? We can make this a 3-3. Three, three. And then Oko dies. And then we have nothing on board. It's gotta be at least one Oko. If I had one more land, I would actually be tempted to make a food token. And just go to 12, and then we'll take 6 here, and that would be fine. Because then Oko... Well, I could just kill Oko, I guess. I imagine they're just going to kill Oko here. One, two, three. We can, as contest, still have two lands up. Okay, so one, two, three. <laughs> Go to seven. It's your boy. And now Oko survives, depending on what they have. I guess if they have something that's plus two, plus two, we die. So no goblin pile driver number three, I guess. That's not a, that's, that's not a, God, for fuck's sake. Solid two draws, my dude. Solid two draws. I feel like not getting rid of the Ember Cleave was the big, uh, the big misplay this game. Yeah, I just don't think the Nissas are where this deck particularly wants to be.
I'll keep this. Let's get an island here. So we can play these things when the time comes. This is Pioneer, correct? There are no abrupt decay, which I do like a lot. Okay, so we have Ringleader, which is insane. Burning Tramissary is great. Runaway Steamkin also great. What's less scary? Probably Burning Tramissary. I think if you have Burning Tramissary into Skirk Prospector, that is less frightening. Lafof, what's your personal trainer cost? Get prospector, get mountain, get brain tree. Thank you. Oh, Badger with 16 gifted subs. <laughs> totally not ridiculous at all. Dude, thank you so much, man. You are awesome. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. Can't cast Ringleader next turn. I think we're just going to cast Oko. And hope he doesn't die. Make a food. Thank you. Badger, thank you so much, man. You are ridiculous. Alistair Kane, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Man, I uh, I always get discouraged when thank I take you. like three or four days off to go do something. So I was in uh, San Antonio, Texas, visiting Katie and her family. And like, whenever thank I take time off, it's always super exhausting because when I get back, I know I'm going to lose like 40 subs. I'm like, oh, good. Because that, that, that four thank days, you. like if you get 10 each day and people are not there to resub or subscribe, then it's like, well, that's rough. It adds Thank up. You. Oh, and they just sacked this guy to play Ringleader. That's pretty good. Oko still doesn't die yet. Oh, Thank I guess they can go... S what do they get? Warchief and Bushwhacker? Two Bushwhackers. Seems Thank good. you! I don't know how to beat this deck. This deck seems a Thank little bit... Uh, yeah, the mana base is, is rough. It's just the the, the, the basic lands are hard Thank to you. do because you just don't have... Um, you have so many cards that you just can't cast off of basics. Like, you have Thank you. Thought Scour, Thought Erasure, which can't be cast off of Forest, Assassin's Trophy, which can't be cast off Island. We had Gross Spile that can't be cast off Swamp. Thank you. So... Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. Oh man, 40 a session and also getting like a gym membership out of it seems pretty nuts. That seems great, Thank dude. You. Yeah, and we still don't have a second black for this guy. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, there's tons of good board wipes. There's Languish, there's Ritual of Soot, um, there's Cry of the Carnarium. But, I mean, like, the problem is I'm not sure if we need them or if this is just, like, I don't know if we're there yet. So, so they have access to four mana, technically. So they could go three mana for Warchief, Surge for one, maybe? Hmm. 
Badger, thank you so much, dude. You are awesome. Not attacking. As you can imagine. Okay. How do you feel about running a cat packed deck in Pioneer? Oh, you mean like a uh, demonic pack? I, I, I actually, I had that, I gave Josh that idea. That was, demonic pack was one of the cards that I was like, hey, build around this. Yep, this is going to be the end of us. Do you just sack, play the other bushwhacker, a block here, kill me here. Hmm. Oh, beard gotchas. <laughs> well, that's actually hilarious. You know, I did not know that. So I can let three, I can let two of these through, I guess. The four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I can, I can let three through. So technically we're not dead. So we take what, four, five, six, seven, we got a one? Not dead. I also don't think it's Kanta that's enough for us. The the things that are on the chopping block for me are as Kanta, the mana base, and the Nisses. I think if anything we have one as Kanta. The last thing you want to do is draw two, and I think Fabled Passage doesn't really do much here. It's just it's just another land that comes into play tapped. Well, this is pretty rough. <laughs> like, see, like right now, not drawing a fifth land is brutal because we can't cast anything in our hand that does anything. Like, we can make a food deck and go to four, but then they have one, two, three, four, five guys on board, so we're still just dead, unfortunately. All right, let's make some more changes. Okay, uh, let's take out one search. Don't like the Nissas; they can go. I just don't think Fatal Passage is doing what we want it to do. I'd rather add one more Drowned, one more Hinterland Harbor, and one more Woodland Cemetery. I do like Abrupt Decay a lot. Well, Act 2, Abrupt Decay, we can cut one Thought Erasure because we do have three Thought Seizes, and we can also cut one Assassin's Trophy, maybe. I do want more Threats, though, here. Like, I almost want another Questing Beast because that dude's just such a... Thank you! I do kind of like Hostage Taker in the main deck, almost. But, like, the problem is... I feel like there's not a ton of creatures we really want to take... But Tanda, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Are we brave enough to run one Solemngar? Hmm. Maybe. I feel like it's a little difficult with only 24 lands. Corsair is a card I actually forget is legal. That seems pretty decent. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's any, like, top-heavy haymakers. Like a Dragonlord Silumgar. All 
All right, let's give Courser a run. Let's play like three Coursers. And we'll actually cut. Maybe with the Abrupt Decay, we don't need Drown the Lock. I don't know. I kind of like Drown the Lock. Let's cut one Assassin's Trophy. Um, I think Blossoming Defense is a little too cute. I'm going to actually put in like Cry of the Carnarium. Or Languish. I like Languish. Or Ritual of Soot. Ritual of Soot lets our Questing Beast and Scarab God survive. Alright, let's say two Ritual of Soot for now. Neckard, thanks for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. Ishkana, wow. Oh, uh, I'll keep this hand. So we can go turn two thought season to turn three thief of sanity, which is pretty okay. Oh, a plains. <laughs> okay we're dead wow are we i mean this hand is not great against any white sort of aggressive deck that's why there's no tarmogoyf in this format right Oh, you're named Kithian, huh? Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is why we brought this is why I brought in that ritual of soot. Abrupt decay fatal push. Okay, that's unfortunate. Well, this is all we can do right now. Jesus. Jesus. We take five, Kithian flips. Hmm. I think Drown in the Lock can go as well. I just think it's a card that's like, it's too cute to turn on. We have no answers to anything right now. We play Thief. We could play Drown and kill one of these. Then we take two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're not going to come out of this ahead. So we take seven, right? They, they attack. They, we, we kill this, so we don't take three. Then we take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We go to four. We can kill the Gideon. 
Uh, and then they either attack us for three down to one, or they finally play Banalish Marshal and kill us. So uh, we're gonna bring in hostage, hostage, ritual, ritual. Noxious, noxious. Take out the thought seas. Take out the thought erasures. Take out the diggy boy. Take out one Jace and bring in one Assassin's Trophy. Okay, let's see. If we can hit some lands, I like it. So we beat the heroic deck, but it feels like the the following two aggressive decks. We beat the white red deck, but then the mono red deck and the mono white deck have got us trouble. It's like if you combine those two, then you're good. What is this Lafo, what is this Thraven Inspector meme that you guys that you have? I have no idea what this is. Is this from, is this, do, is this a me thing? Do I remember this? Oh, Jesus. Well, ideally we kill the next thing they play. Do you ever brew on stream? Like, or you mean like from the ground, from scratch? Yeah, occasionally. Uh, these are soldiers, right? Ooh, that's nice. Okay, well, we have to put the kibosh on these guys. I rarely brew kombucha on stream. I just think it's a little hard to, uh, you know, get all the things. We're playing Oko instead of Corsair because it, we're, our plan is to Ritual of Soot. And if we Ritual of Soot, I don't want to lose our Corsair. So we're just going to put Oko to six. Hope they don't have land Banalish Marshal or land Thraben Inspector. Or just throw an inspector out of the land. And they did. Never don't have that. Oh, Christ. Now we're just hoping to hit a land here. We did. Do you think any of the secret layers are cool? Um, I do think they're a cool idea. I hate when you buy a set and you get like a one of. Like, I don't want like one bitter blossom because it's going to be weird. I don't really play much commander. My head feels really weird. That was a good hit. I'm just going to say no here. <laughs> Not really in the mood to gain two life to, uh, to, to pay two life to, to prevent two damage, maybe. Oh, good. You killed my dude. One, two, three, four.
Well, no trigger, but still 2-2. Two -two. Seems good. Wow, Mono Knights of the White Orchid over here. Oh wow, look, they got a Plains. Jesus, things are happening. Abrupt decay. It's actually pretty decent. Do I want to kill this guy or this guy? Ooh, that's. I guess it doesn't really matter. Raven Inspector. Yep, that's pretty good. And then and then not Inspector Lieutenant. <laughs> you know what I meant. Here comes everything. Oh, you're not gonna attack with your marshal. Hmm. You are gonna attack with Marshall. So this guy's a 3-3, three, three, if we get rid of the Marshal. Like, we're definitely getting rid of the 5-5. Five, five. I think we actually... Oh. Yeah, that's fine. I think we actually get rid of the, the other Knight, because then we can just double block the Marshal, which is totally fine. I hope this land doesn't matter. Thank you. It did not. John Travolta, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, it's a kitty, and we are running out of gas here, guys. Oh, we are. Now we're just drawing too many lands. Oh, God, I love magic. So they attack with all look at their lands too. They have Sheffet Dunes, they have Castle Ardenvale. I guess you get to play boring ass spells. Yeah, that's pretty good. Sure. All right, we, we're looking for a what's it called? A uh, it's called a languish, I believe. Ritual of soot. That's the one. Courser of crucifix. Wow, this is so much land, dude. Oko on top. That's actually terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. One, two, three, four, five, seven cards. Okay. Eight cards, I guess. Not an ideal distribution. Let's say four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so. It's an easy block. Ah, oh, that's fucking insane. Did not realize those were humans. I thought they were just... I guess they are humans. Yep. 
Oko is not going to do it. Yeah, alright, let's take these out. I think we had one more abrupt decay. Add one more coarser, maybe? I'm gonna add one more of these dudes. We can take Disdainful Stroke out for now, I guess. Eh, we can take one Assassin's Trophy. I don't like that better. Hmm. Well, now the last hope I doesn't do much. Badger, have a good night, buddy. Always a pleasure, my dude. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you have a good night. Yeah, there's just not enough creatures, so you just... It's not its not really recurring removal, though, because, like, if they have two twos, it does nothing. Badger, have a good morning, dude. <laughs> what good two drops are there in the format? Like, scavenging ooze? Doesn't seem great. Maybe it's fine, though. Maybe Ooze is great in the main deck. Give it a shot. Grim Flare could be fine. I just don't think we have any. We're we're not hitting Delirium consistently. I don't think. We could play four once upon a time. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, double black is pretty hard. What about Glint Sleeve Siphoner? Okay, that's interesting. I want to drop Thief here instead of Oko. Because if we're able to attack... That's exciting. Faded MCG, thank you so much for the opportunity, man. Really appreciate it. And enjoy your errands, my dude. Or don't enjoy them. It's totally up to you. Well, that's fascinating. Double cast, hidden strings, hidden strings, opt treasure cruise. Well, isn't this cute? Hmm. 
Let's get rid of the cruise. Hidden string says you may tap runs have a permanent, then you may tap runs have another permanent, and you, it has cipher, but I don't think the cipher part is relevant. Grow spiral. I'm just going to load up on Thief of Sanities. Opt is gone. Well, that's fancy. Six, they go to eight. Thank you. Shimmer, poor, and Ral. Standard beat. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Untap two lands, then discard a card. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, it deals one damage. When you cast an instant sorcery, so it's actually fine. Unfortunately, they don't have anything to do with all their mana. Or fortunately for us, I guess. Sylvan Scrying? What the fudge? That's incredible. It is sub day, my dudes. <laughs> oh, Lord. It sure is, my dude. It sure is. Jace doesn't really do anything. It does let us thought seize. No, it doesn't. Not not anytime soon. So I'm just gonna pass with scavenging ooze up in case they're like, get back my guy. So cycle vizier. Sure. So they net one mana. Temple of Mystery? Sure. Sure. So that's one hidden strings down. I assume that's gone too. I think that's the same one. This is all very interesting. I have no idea what's happening right now. Let me 
Okay. What if they do go mass manipulation for everything? What is that? Four, five, six, eight, ten mana? Double cast your next one, sure. Okay, that one's gone too. Shimmer. <coughs> okay. Okay, they got one card now. Well, from that, rather. Four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So they steal two things. Growth spiral. This is amazing. Alright, they net another land. Another mana, rather. So now they're back at eight with three cards. Treasure Cruise. Are we dead? Are we ahead? I have no idea. Now they kill us, right? Everybody Wang Chung tonight. 11 cards, huh? 13 cards left in your deck. Type demonstrate the loop in the chat. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Giving this land hexproof, that was a cool, that was a cool idea. Is there a storm card in this format? I don't think so, right? Man, I wish I had an Assassin's Trophy.
I don't even know what's happening anymore. I don't know why they did all this bullshit with the hidden strings. Like, just fucking win the game. Just win the game, dude. Let's get rid of Abrupt Decay. These had no targets whatsoever. Fatal Push also can go Dispute. Disdainful. That seems good. Everybody have fun tonight. Everybody Wang Chung tonight. Is everybody Wang Chunging tonight? Because that seems like what we should really be doing. I don't think we can beat this deck. I guess we have two three drops, that's pretty good. Probably should have played Breeding Pool and taken two and played Thief, because that way next turn we can play Corsair and still get the the mana benefit from it, but I guess it's still fine. I actually just want to keep up Dispute here. I don't want to leave up any chance where they can go land Jace or something. Shut up, little man. Quiet, kitty cat. That seems good, so I'm just going to get rid of it. That's also pretty decent, but we don't have a way to use it right now. Oh, or do we? Easy game. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of just want to get a clock down. I think this is nine next turn.
You guys still here? Just want to make sure. Thirteen, huh? Double cast, huh? Cool. All right, that was fun. I had a good time. Oh boy, that was fun. That was that was nice. What is this clip? You're all going to die down here. I don't even know what this is from, my dude. I don't actually know what to do to beat a deck like that. I'm also like, we're trying to like, I think we're 1-3 right now, which is pretty unfortunate. Lost to mono white, lost to mono red, lost to that combo deck. Hmm. Like, I feel like we need more pressure, less, less dirtling. We could take out one Oko, maybe it's just like... Added another Thoughtseize. We took out one Scavengers, one Oko, and one Jace. So now we have two slots. Maybe the Drowns come back in? I don't know. Maybe that's decent, I guess. The Drown is kind of an opposition with Scavenging Ooze. We're like eating their creatures, but you also want them to have things in the graveyard. I don't think treasure map does anything. I don't think we're treasure map. Like we're not looking for a card that like draws cards. We're looking for ways to win the game. <sighs> stubborn denial. I mean, we only have one creature that really triggers stubborn denial. I guess we have four total creatures in the entire deck that are going to trigger a stubborn denial. <sighs> Thank you. Who do we give the salami to? It's okay to give uh, your cats a little bit of salami just as a treat. JT, what's going on, my dude? Thank you so much for the reset, my dude. Yeah, I feel like this is in an Elder Spell format. I think... I do like Duress. I also like the other one. 
uh, thought erasure. Two slots. Again, we don't need anything like removal. Like, we have three Repticay and Assassin's Trophy, three Fatal Push, three Oko, two Veraska. Like, we have plenty of removal. I'm just looking for something that wins the game. I'm looking for a, a late game like Haymaker. Like, Questing Beast. Like, just more Questing Beasts? I don't know. It doesn't seem great. Like, they're legendary and there's other options. I'm just wondering what those other options are. Like, I love Thief of Sanity. Uh, we're never getting to... 8 mana if you mean 8 mana Ugin we might be able to get to 6 mana for 6 mana Ugin have any biogenic ooze that's unfortunate I actually do kind of like tireless tracker yeah I'll play two tireless trackers I like that all right let's give it one more round and we'll see what happens Oh, Michael B. It is Wednesday, my dudes. It will be soon. Me and Mike B are going to get some food after this. And then we'll come back and we'll stream some more. Okay, no black sources. But I'll keep this because crew fix. Because crew fee. Because the old Corsarino. It is Michael B., my dudes. No, I still don't care about Fable Passage. I still don't want lands that come in to play tapped. Oh, that was a good draw, my dudes. I guess we should play Breeding Pool instead, because now these are going to come and play tapped. I guess we can just play Forest. Chupacabra, Fabled Passage. Hmm, this is all very interesting. Can't Fatal Push it. Can't Drown in the Locket. Can't Ultimate Price it. Burglar Rat, what's going on here? This format is so weird, dude. Hostage taker. Really wish I had a guy a card to a card to trigger the old uh the old fatal push. That would be ideal. Uh, 
ton of juice. Wow, you guys are all you guys are all on the fatal passage train here, huh? Seems good. Crew me, I dare you. I said I dare you. I have not actually eaten Toblerone. I just kind of saved it. They're at eight. One, two, three. Agent of Treachery. I would have rather you just kill it. Boy, agent of treachery. Can I kill anything right now? How come it doesn't give me the option to only target a creature that has been... Usually it says, like, target a creature that costs four or, you know, such and such. Yeah, all right. Boy, this has not been our day, dude. dispute seems good Ugh. what did we see we literally just saw like hostage taker agent of treachery they just steal all of our things yeah no I know <laughs> I know how I know how fatal push works I'm saying magic has a prompt that says destroy a creature with convert mana cost, convert mana cost two or less or con destroy a convert mana cost four or less. It will literally only let you target uh, creatures that are four or less or two or less depending on which criteria is met. But that option was not showing up so I was wondering why. This Fatal Push team is pretty rough in this matchup. I 
I don't know, Assassin's Trophies. I hate giving them lands. It might just be better than Fatal Push. Stroke seems fine too. We gotta cut things, guys. I think Tassiger is trash. Sure, I'll just cut random things that are not necessarily helping us here. Double Hinterland Harbor seems good. Opt, Fatal Push, Burglar Rat, Agent of Treachery. I actually only care about the Burglar Rat, to be honest with you. Fatal Push doesn't do anything, Op doesn't do anything, and Agent of Treachery have quite a few turns to worry about. Plus, if we hostage take our Agent of Treachery, that's pretty cool. Light Beetle. Hmm. Okay. Yikes. Oh, we're just going to combat. Oh, that's gas. <laughs> I have no idea why you would not use that immediately. I'm tempted hostage taker here because any other turn where we hostage taker, they get to keep fatal push up and kill our hostage taker. But right now we get to probably play this guy. And there's nothing else going on really, so. Wow, these draws have been amazing. <laughs> Killed their own Blight Beetle, sure. Alright, well, we have three cards. Scarab Gun, Eldest Reborn. Oh, that card's fantastic. Wow, that's really good. See, that's another card I forgot was in the format. That's exciting. Do I just want to kill this? Like, us discarding a land, is it worse than... No. I 
I mean, they get a hostage taker next turn with nothing on board, or they get a Narset, so. Sure. Cool. Alright, so these draws were not the best, but also, like, this format is still really interesting in that, like, I forget things like Eldest Reborn and Agent of Treachery are legal because they were so recently in Standard. And, like, in a format like Modern, you're never going to care about Eldest Reborn, but in a format like Pioneer, it could just be good. Yeah, so, like, I'm going to do this immediately now. Fatal Push. Cool. Really? You wouldn't just cycle that? Fascinating. Like, knowing they have Agent of Treachery in hand, we have no incentive to play this. In fact, it's actually terrible for us. Someone was tempted to just kill the Narset. So they don't get another card. I mean, it's essentially a one for one, but like. <sighs> Nine mana. Agent of Treasure, just take a land? That's pretty unexciting. So now that we know they have a fatal push in hand. Hmm. Okay. Well. Hope you don't draw anything. was an interesting choice. So Fatal Push does nothing here. Whip of Erebos is fucking insane. But they didn't use it. Interesting. That's good for us. They could have just like... Why wouldn't they play that pre-combat? Get the life gain. Noxious Gear Hulk. Yeah, I'll just play Noxious Gear Hulk, I guess. But if they bring back the rat... I guess we have no incentive to play this right now, right? It doesn't really... Because if they bring back rat, I'd rather have no cards in hand. And now we get to not draw that. We do get to draw Lumbering Falls, though. One, two, three, four. Five. We are one away from just casting Noxious Gear Hulk here. Yep, Narset's pretty good. Hmm. Yep, Liliana's pretty good. So now we know all the cards in your hand as you got one fatal push. Okay, so they still we're still gonna get another hit with this. That's pretty okay. I might just want to hold that for the tireless tracker now. Back your face. I 
Oh, our own Narset. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we kill this, they get to get it back with the whip. That's pretty interesting. Literally a whiff, okay. And the top card is of course a non-whiff. So now we're gonna play this. <laughs> yep, that sucked, okay. Exactly the worst things that could have happened. Second Narset. Seems fine. We're blocking the agent to play around Fatal Push. They didn't play the next Narset, that's interesting. Another whiff. Top card spell? Yeah. Fucking amazing. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's amazing. Well, that's pretty good. Four, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, all right, well. Eldest Reborn. I will sacrifice this Narset. Narset's gone. Fatal Push is gone. Drowned Catacomb? I don't know if that's still there. Another Fatal Push. That seems great. So they have two mana. Ah oh, yes, I forgot about the Liliana ability. I was thinking they couldn't whip back. That's I was gonna steal the whip actually, but here we are. Kill course or two. Sure. Must be nice. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we could get back hostage taker, steal something like agent of treachery. Do they have anything whippable? Not really. No, no they don't. I think that's what we gotta do. Can anything go to the graveyard this turn? Also not really. Thank you. Oh, what up, Chris? Thanks so much for the restub, my dude. That's almost as many as two ten wait. Wait. Oh, Gnarset. Yep, that's a thing I forgot about because magic's a hard game. Yep, all right. So they have one fatal push and fucking hero's downfall. All right, we're done. All right. Well, guys, unfortunately, this deck was not performing the way we wanted it to. I'm not sure what we could actually do to change it. Agent of Treachery is a cool card. Um, we can go more Planeswalker centric with things like Narset, like we just saw, but that was just a blue black deck, so that wasn't even a, uh, a Sultai deck. Um, so yeah, as far as changes we can make, I don't know. I remember a, a Sultai deck won like the first, the first Pioneer event on Magic Online, but, um, I don't know what configuration we're looking for. Maybe Thief of Sanity just isn't as strong as we'd like it to be. <sighs> Which is sad because I love Thief of Sanity, but maybe it's just not the the card we want. Maybe we want to lean heavily hev more heavily on Oko and Vraska and getting one of these down on like turn two and turn three. But um, I don't know. Faded MTG, thank you so much for letting me play the deck, though. I really appreciate the commission and uh, the support. But uh, unfortunately, I actually don't know what direction to go with this deck. I feel like we made a ton of changes and none of them were really like working out that well. But um, yeah, I don't know. Like, what can you do? I mean, that's just magic sometimes. Magic's hard, so what are you going to do? Thank you guys for watching, though. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you guys want to have your decks critiqued by me, definitely send me an email at frank at franklaport.com, or you can find the information down on my Twitch profile or on my uh, YouTube description below, so you can check those out. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for the watching. Thanks for the watching, he said. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.